First in the Coosa Valley, that's the First Bank of Childersburg. 35 years of service with three convenient locations. Downtown Childersburg, Highway 280 Childersburg, and Downtown Vincent. The First Bank of Childersburg is the Coosa Valley's full service bank with a full range of savings plans to fit your needs. And loans for business, family, new cars, home improvements. For past courteous service, bank with a bank that's first in the Coosa Valley. The First Bank of Childersburg. Member FDIC. Well, we're down to the final quarter of this football game. 28 to 13 is our score. Coosa Valley Academy out front with a 15-point lead. And they have the football. Third down and eight from their own eight-yard line. As Ricky Sprouse brings them out of the huddle. Line out to the left side will be Mike Payne. Glass and Grags in the backfield, high formation. Sprouse with a long count, perhaps an audible at the line of scrimmage. Here's a snap, handoff goes to Gregg, and Gregg is out across the 10, up around the 11-yard line. Going to be shy of the first down, but it's going to give the punting unit a little more room to work with. Making the tackle that time for Springwood Academy was number 42, Sam Van Leer. He hit Gregg in the backfield. Couldn't make the stop there, but he did force Greg to the ground. My Greg to punt the ball for CBA. Chambly is the deep man back at the 45 yard line. Greg needs a good one here. Springwood will go after it. Greg gets it off. Uh, it's blocked. Somebody got a clip of it. Henson scooped it up and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Greg's punt was blocked. Philip Henson caught it in the air and took it in for the touchdown. And that's not what you wanted to see if you were a CVA fan. Just like that, we're back to 28-19, 28-20 with the PAT. If it's good, and we have us a ball game. A block punt, and Philip Henson caught it in the air about the 10-yard line, took it in for a touchdown. Point after attempt coming up, Mike Gregg injured on the play. So now we have Gregg, Glass, and Strickland all injured in the football game. 28-19 is the score. Springwood just scoring on that fluke play. They're going to have a wide out right side as Jason Strink brings them up. They'll be going for two. Springwood going for two. Strink down under. Here's the snap. Pitches back to Henson, and Henson will not make it. 28 19, the Rebels hold. We'll pause. The score Coosa Valley 28, Springwood 19. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. Holcomb Building Supply in Harpersville is proud to support Coosa Valley Academy. Holcomb Building Supply is also proud to sell the finest building supplies, pipe wrap insulation, plumbing supplies, Pilgrim and Homesteader wood heaters, Toyo stove heaters, kerosene heaters, starting at just $69, Poland chainsaws, just whatever you need. And they will also sharpen your chainsaw. Holcomb Building Supply, Highway 280 in Harpersville, helping build your future. We're back at Coosa Valley Academy, 28-19, the Rebels leading. They have led most of the way. They've had uh, Springwood down several times, just can't seem to get them out. Dunnery will kick it off for Springwood, back deep. Payne is back deep, along with Green. The deep man is Mike Craig. Eleven seventeen to go on the football game. State championship on the line. And this one ain't over yet. Here's the kickoff from Dunnery at the line drive down the middle will be taken by Mike Gregg. 15, 20 yard line. Gregg up in the middle, 25, breaks the tackle. He's to the 28 yard line. Fine return by Mike Gregg. Finally stopped there by Jason Adcock of Springwood Academy. Ricky Sprouse and company take over. First and 10 at your own 26-yard line. 11.07 to go in the football game. Mike Payne split wide to the right side as Sprouse brings him to the line of scrimmage. Glass and Gregg in the eye formation. Here's a snap. 
Down the line goes Krause. He'll keep it on the option play. Turn it outside. 35, 39 yard line. He'll have the first down. Ricky Sprouse on the option, kept the football, picked up the first down up to the 39-yard line. Joey Ward finally made the tackle for his Springwood Academy, but not before Sprouse could pick up the first down. 28-19, Coosa Valley leading Springwood state championship game, 10-37 to go in this football game. Rebels have the ball, first and 10, a drawn 39-yard line. Mike Payne wide to the right side. Payne will go in motion to the far side. Now reverses field, come back to the near side. Sprouse takes a snap, gives the glass, and he's up into the line of scrimmage. Glass never had a chance. Patrick Paul met him as soon as he was handed the ball. Gonna bring up second down. A long nine, may have gained six inches on the play. Second down, CVA at their own 40-yard line with nine minutes, 57 seconds to go on the football game. Mike Payne wide right side as Sprouse brings him to the line of scrimmage. Payne goes in motion. Sprouse takes a snap. Option play, left side, pitches out to Greg. Greg bumps at the line of scrimmage. He's going down. No gain on the play. Jason Strength coming up to make the tackle from his halfback position for Springwood Academy. And you'll hear the crowd holler and scream as Brent Strickland goes back into the football game. Brent Strickland took a vicious lick to the back, and he is back in the football game. Showing a lot of tenacity. Strickland will split wide to the right side. 9.08 to go, third and nine. Sprouse down under, Strickland in motion. Sprouse dropping back. Sprouse in trouble. Sprouse breaks trouble, puts it in the air. Strickland has it for the first down. 45-yard line, Springwood territory. Brett Strickland courageously came back into the football game after being injured and picks up the first down at the 45-yard line at Springwood territory. We have a Springwood player injured on the play. We'll pause. Coosa Valley 28, Springwood 19. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. Are you a self-starter, a do-it-yourselfer, or are you into serious auto repair? Well, it really doesn't matter because Silicaga Auto Parts has your parts both foreign and domestic. They're your one-stop auto parts store for parts for your car, truck, or tractor. So whether you're a shade tree mechanic or a professional, stop by Silicaga Auto Parts. They've got professional counter salesmen who will be more than happy to service your auto parts needs. Silicaga Auto Parts, your NAPA jobber at 110 North Aniston Avenue in Silicaga. Call 245-52. Nine, six. Are the floors in your home sagging? Your problem can be solved quickly and economically with a new product and a new service available from Alabama Termite and Pest Control. <laughs> Adjustable concrete piers can be installed quickly and inexpensively. For complete information on this new service, call 378-5759. That's 378-5759. If the floors in your home are not level, your problem can be solved without expensive renovation. Just call Alabama Termite and Pest Control at 378-5759. And back here at the B93 Studios, we got more bad news in the fourth quarter. It's Millport 35, Ohatchee Indians 6. Okay, thank you, Steve. Eight minutes, 50 seconds to go in this football game. Good news from Harpersville. Coosa Valley leading Springwood 28-19, and the Rebels have the football. First and 10 at the Springwood 45-yard line. Jeff Martin split wide to the right side. Payne is split wide to the left side. Payne comes in motion to the near side. Sprouse down under, takes a snap, drops back, wants to air it out, and trouble gets it away and has his man. Martin on a beautiful catch at the 36-yard line. A diving catch. Jeff Martin scoops it up at the 36. The blitz was on, and both linebackers, neither were picked up. Sprouse did an excellent job just dodging the two linebackers and getting the pass off. Beautiful job. Second down, a yard to go. Nine-yard gain on that pass from Sprouse to Martin. Brett Strickland is walking his sideline, chomping a bit to get back in the football game. Mike Payne split wide to the left side as Krauss brings him to the line of scrimmage. 
Brown's done it. He takes a snap. He's going to sweep left side. Somebody penetrates, but he breaks the tackle and turns the corner. And finally, Chase out of bounds at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Cusa Valley. He was finally driven out of bounds by Jason Adcock. 28-19. Coosa Valley leading by nine. They've got it first and ten now at the Springwood 30-yard line with 7.45 to go in the football game. End of this ball game, we'll have, I'm sure, a presentation of the state championship trophy down on the field, and Chuck Woody will be down on the field to cover that presentation. The quarterback has a wide out, split to the left side. Here's the pitch back to Greg. Greg runs up to the right tackle, finds a hole, goes inside the 25. Gain of five on the play. They'll spot it at the 25. It'll be second and five with 7.28 to go in the football game. Second down five, 25-yard line. Wide to the right side is going to be Payne. Faust down under, takes the snap, keeps the football, fakes the glass, turned it up on the option, goes inside to 25, down around maybe the 23-yard line. It's going to be third down and short yardage. I think for a second, Glass even thought he had the football. He turned, he turned back to look at Faust to make sure that he didn't have it. Ball on the 23-yard line. They're going to spot it back on the 23-yard line with third down and four yards to go. And I perceive the temperature is beginning to drop just a little bit. Strickland back in, wide left side. Krause takes a snap, gives to Gregg up the middle, and Gregg is on second effort, going to have that first down. Mike Gregg will not be denied the first down. First and 10, Coosa Valley on the 18-yard line. Scott Chambly finally coming up with a tackle for Springwood Academy. But another first down for Coosa. And even more important, the clock is running. Six minutes, 18 seconds to go in the football game. 28-19 is your score. Wide to the right side once again will be Mike Payne. Cross down under. High formation, fakes the glass, option, pitches out to Greg. Greg goes to the corner inside the 15. Flag play thrown by the referee. We're gonna, back I believe we're going to have a late hit on the quarterback after the pitch. And we're going to be get some more yardage for Coosa Valley. Five minutes, 54 seconds to go in the football game. Coosa Valley leads at 28 to 19. You're listening to B93, WHTV FM, Talladega. And they're talking things over with just after, Sp Valley. just after Sprouse made the pitch, he took a vicious lick. And I believe the official said it was just a little bit late. Personal foul, charged against Springwood. Looks like it will be a sesh from about the 14-yard line. And that's going to give Coosa Valley first and goal to go, down around the 7-yard line. Five minutes, 54 seconds to go in the football game. Rebels come up to the line of scrimmage. I believe we're going to have a measurement. I think uh, Coach Bennett across the way is going to come out and argue with the official on that call. And the official waved him off over there. And they're going to bring the chain out for a measurement. I thought it was an automatic first down on a personal foul, but apparently not. They'll stretch the chain it. out, he and it, it is a first down. First down, goal to go. Coosa Valley Academy. 
Chuck, what yard line we're on down there? Oh, they're on about the 13. He's close to go inside the 10. Yard. Well, let's make that about the 7 then. 7 yard line. Coaches up here in the booth have been telling us run that clock. <laughs> 5.43 to go in the ball game. Sprouse brings him up. Payne on the flank right side. Sprouse takes the snap. Sprouse is going to turn it in. Sprouse is going to go. Over. Touchdown. And they got a late hit. Flag. And a late flag to move. Ricky Sprouse on the option play. Saw Lane. Took it to the right corner and dove over. Sprouse got, he got down to about the one yard line. And Eric Novelli was standing there between him and the goal, so he decided to take to the air for the touchdown. He did it Craig Lugana's invitation. 34-19 is your score now as Ricky Sprouse scores with 5.32 to go in the football game. And that 15-yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. So that will also have Springwood Academy in trouble. Point after attempt coming up, and timeout is going to be called Tusa Valley. Timeout on the field. We'll pause with the score. Rebels 34, Springwood 19. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. There are two things for sure you can always say about J&J Drug. They're always quick to support high school athletics across Talladega County. They've been sponsoring high school football, basketball, and baseball on B93 for years, and they're always quick to fill your prescription, too. So get that quick J&J service from Wallace Shoemaker and Royce Warren and the folks at J&J Drug, Childersburg's corner drugstore. J&J Drug, downtown Childersburg. Okay, 34-19 to score. 5.32 to go in the ball game. Coosa Valley point after attempt coming up right here. As the Rebels have just scored, Ricky Sprouse took it in from seven yards out. Rebels with one timeout remaining. 5.32 to go in the ball game. 34-19 your score. Mike Gregg will attempt the point after. Sprouse will hold. Here's a snap, it's high, it's down, though, and it's kicked, and it is good. And as they come back upfield, we pause with a score. Tusa Valley 35, Springwood 19. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. First in the Coosa Valley, that's the First Bank of Childersburg. 35 years of service with three convenient locations. Downtown Childersburg, Highway 280 Childersburg, and Downtown Vincent. The First Bank of Childersburg is the Coosa Valley's full service bank with a full range of savings plans to fit your needs. And loans for business, family, new cars, home improvements. For past courteous service, bank with a bank that's first in the Coosa Valley. The First Bank of Childersburg. Member. FDIC. Well, you can hear the excitement in the air here in Harpersville as these Rebel fans are smelling that state championship now. The 15-yard penalty is assessed on the kickoff, so the Rebels will kick off from the Springwood 45-yard line. Good opportunity to put that ball in the end zone and keep that buttery fella from running it back. Mike Gregg will kick it off from the Springwood 45 with 5.32 to go in the ball game. Rebels leading 35 to 19. Gregg approaches the football, puts a toe to it. It's going to be high. It's going to be taken in the end zone by Benefield and will be whistled in at that point. In high school football, you can't return or you can't uh, run a kick, a kick off out of the end zone. So the ball will come out to the 20-yard line. Springwood will put it in play first and 10 from their own 20. They trail 35 to 19 with 5.32 to go in the football game. They're going to throw the football. Jason Strink brings him out. Everybody in tight. One setback. Man in the slot. Here's a snap. Strink drops back. Wants to put it in the air. Going to throw the long ball. He's got a man open. It is tipped away. And Toby Green. Toby Green is the man who tipped it away. Incomplete, it'll be second and 10 from the 20. Toby Green has been playing excellently in the secondary for Coosa Valley, coming up with just one of many defensive plays he's had tonight. Second down 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Springwood with a football. Coosa 
Cusa Valley in a prevent defense. <laughs> Strength brings him up. Wide out to the left side. Tyler is wide. Dunnery is in the slot. Split backfield. Strength down under. Calls the snap. Here's the pitch back. Going to Rob Benefield. Benefield will be strung out and brought down up around the 25-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and about five to go. Robert Strickland making the tackle that time for the CVA Rebels. Robert Strickland makes 5-2-5. 5-0-9 to go in the football game. Seven yards, third down and 20 from the 27. Benefield gets seven out of that one, so it's third down, three yards to go. Springwood trying to stay alive. As their state championship hopes are slowly fading here in the last minutes of this football game. Again, Tyler wide to the left side. Duttery in the slot on the left side. Strink brings him up. High formation. Strink takes a snap. Gives off up the middle on a draw play. Running room is going to be Philip Langley on the carry. Out to the 35-yard line. He's got the first down. And Greg is down again. Mike Gregg once again injured on the play. That's his arm now, Brian. We'll pause the score. Coosa Valley 35, Springwood 19. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. First in the Coosa Valley, that's the First Bank of Childersburg. 35 years of service with three convenient locations. Downtown Childersburg, Highway 280 Childersburg, and Downtown Vincent. The First Bank of Childersburg is the Coosa Valley's full service bank with a full range of savings plans to fit your needs. And loans for business, family, new cars, home improvements. For past courteous service, bank with a bank that's first in the Coosa Valley. The First Bank of Childersburg. Member. FDIC. Holcomb Building Supply in Harpersville is proud to support Coosa Valley Academy. Holcomb Building Supply is also proud to sell the finest building supplies, pipe wrap insulation, plumbing supplies, Pilgrim and Home Center wood heaters, Toyo stove heaters, kerosene heaters, starting at just $69, Poland chainsaws, just whatever you need, and they will also sharpen your chainsaw. Holcomb Building Supply, Highway 280 in Harpersville, helping build your future. We're back in Harpersville. Mike Gregg up and out of the, off of the field under his own power. Looked like he was hobbling just a little bit. It's first and 10 at the 35 for Springwood. It's again Tyler wide to the left. And Duttery in the slot on the left side. Strength drops back. He wants to throw the ball. Looks downfield. Going to put it in the air. And it is going to be complete to Duttery at the 49-yard line. And what a beautiful catch Duttery made at the 49-yard line. Coosa Valley Territory, first and 10 Springwood. Thomas Duttery showed a lot of concentration there. He almost had the ball picked off, but he hung on. Scott Thompson was back defending for CVA. Finally making the tackle on Duttery. 49-yard line, Rebel territory. Four minutes to go in the ball game. His strength brings him up. Springwood will not quit. Power eye. Handoff goes to Duttery. Duttery finds a hole on a trap to the right side. He'll go inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. Finally, finally making the stop for CVA, Robert Strickland. Gain of six on the play. It'll be second down and four at the 44-yard line. Rebel territory. 3.36 to go in the ball game. Springwood showing some championship spirit here, and they will not lay down. Power Iowa once again, as Strink brings him to the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap. Strink keeps the ball, drops back deep, wants to throw, puts it in the air. It is going to be complete, complete to Chambly down at the 26-yard line in Rebel territory. Coming up to make the stop, Brett Strickland. Scott Chambly on the reception, first and 10 Springwood. 3.16 to go on the football game. Two touchdowns and two two-point conversions would tie this ball game up. Springwood knows it. 3.05 to go in the game. Having a little confusion out there now, getting his formation set. Chambly split wide to the left side. Man in the slot is Duttery. Pitch back goes to Benefield. Benefield wants to sweep the right side. He's down at the 24-yard line. Toby Green making the stop that time for CVA. Gain of about four. It'll be second down. Six yards to go. 
Football inside the 25 and around the 24-yard line. Springwood with the ball. 2.30 to go in the football game as Jason Strink brings him back to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Flanker on the left side. Here's a snap. Dropping back is Strink. Strink looks downfield. Can't find anybody open. He's going to turn it up. He's got a running lane. And Gregg will finally upend him at the 15-yard line. Very close to the first down. Mike Gregg and Robert Strickland making the tackle that time for CPA. But not before it appears that he picked up the first down. Yes, he does. Ball appears to be on about the 16-yard line. First and 10 Springwood with 2.12 to go in the ball game. Coosa Valley leads 35-19. And Springwood calls timeout. Timeout will pause. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. Are you a self-starter or do-it-yourselfer? Or are you into serious auto repair? Well, it really doesn't matter because Silicaga Auto Parts has your parts both foreign and domestic. They're your one-stop auto parts store for parts for your car, truck, or tractor. So whether you're a shade tree mechanic or a professional, stop by Silicaga Auto Parts. They've got professional counter salesmen who will be more than happy to service your auto parts needs. Silicaga Auto Parts, your NAPA jobber at 110 North Aniston Avenue in Silicaga. Call 245-529. Nine, six. Two minutes, 12 seconds to go in the football game. 35 to 19. Coosa Valley Academy leading Springwood Academy in the game for the state. And touchdown. Scott Tambley scores for Springwood with 2.07 to go in the football game. And the Springwood Wildcats will not say die. They refuse to give up. They know if they could get two here and then score another touchdown somehow and score two again, they could tie this game. But if they miss this one... Well, that, we'll see that in about uh, five, ten seconds. Point after attempt coming up. Jason Strink down under T formation gives the football to Henson and Henson will not go in. Point after attempt is no good as they come back up field. Will pause. Coosa Valley Academy 35, Springwood 25. This is the B93 High School Football Game of the Week. More than just pest control, Alabama Termite and Pest Control is now providing moisture control. <laughs> If you have problems with moisture, dampness, or mildew, the problem solvers are the men from Alabama Termite and Pest Control. For complete information on this valuable service, give them a call at 378-5759. That's 378-5759. The number to call for termite and pest control and moisture control as well. Alabama Termite and Pest Control. You'll get quick service and guaranteed results. And here at the B93 Studios, we have one final score in high school football. It was Weedowie defeating Montevallo 10 to 8. Okay, thank you, Steve Reed. Montevallo defeated 10 to 8 by Weedowie tonight. Kicking off is going to be Thomas Dettery for Springwood. Coosa Valley expecting the onside kick. 2.07 to go in the ball game. Rebels lead by 10, 35-25. Springwood will not quit. Coosa Valley has their quarterback and a couple of other receivers up on the front line to receive this kick. 35-25, Coosa Valley leading by 10, 2.07 to go in the ball game. Duttery will kick it off. Officials taking a little extra time to get everything set here. We're waiting a whistle from the referee. And then we can have the kickoff in the final two minutes and seven seconds of this football game on this cold November night. Suddenly approaches the football as the onside kick, kicked by somebody else. It goes the necessary 10 yards, and Springwood has recovered. Coming up with the football is Thomas Suttery. Brian, that was just a bad play. Let me interrupt. Uh, Goose Valley had a man right in front of the ball. He was just watching it bounce, and Springwood surrounded it and pounced on it. I don't think he thought that it had went 10 yards. Well, it went the necessary 10 yards, across the 50-yard line. Springwood has the football, and they're running with a two-minute hurry-up offense. Have wide out deep side and a man in the slot on the right side. Here's the snap. Strink on a screen pass, throws out to Chambly, and Chambly is upended at the 44-yard line. Finally stopped there by number 53. That's Tova Harmon. 
gain of seven. It'll be second down and three from the 43-yard line. A minute, 38 seconds to go in the ball game. Drink brings him out. Wide out left side, man in the slot on the left side. Drink takes the snap, drops back, looks down the left sideline, going to throw for all the marbles, and it's going to be broken up. And a flag on the play. A flag on the play. Ricky Strauss broke it up. Bobby Glass looked to have had a chance to intercept the ball. And there was, there was a lot of contact, and I believe it's going to be, well, it's going to be defensive. Pass interference called on Coosa Valley Academy. It will be assessed from the 42-yard line. That'll put the ball on the 27-yard line, where it will be first down, 10 yards to go Springwood with a minute 24 to go in the football game. But bear in mind, the Rebels have a 10-point lead. Springwood will have to score twice to win his football game. And there are only a minute and 24 seconds left. 35-25. Duttery split wide to the right side. Jason Strink brings him up. Split backfield. Here's the snap. Strink drops back, rolls to the right, puts it in the air, and it is going to be complete beautiful reception. Beautiful reception by Scott Campbell across the way down near the 15-yard line. Did not get out of bounds. Yes, they stopped the clock. Tova Harmon was back covering for CBA. But an excellent catch by Chambly. Now they wind the clock. Minute 10 seconds. Second down. Yard to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Jason Strink brings him up. Here's the snap. Strink dropping back under a lot of pressure. Strink is going to put it in the air. Throws the long ball. Has a man in the end zone. It's intercepted. Intercepted. Over Harmon came down with the interception. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Tova Harmon intercepted the ball, put his knee down, and Scott Campbell came up and popped him. So, so the penalty will go against Springwood. Personal foul. Go ahead, Chuck. That number 40, the one that's been in all the altercations all night long. He's the one that hit the late hit. Scott Campbell, after Harmon had put his knee down, popped it. 15 yards personal foul, I suppose, will be assessed from the 20-yard line. Coosa Valley will have it on the 35. They have 35 points on the board. Springwood 25, 51 seconds left in the ball game. Coosa Valley Academy Rebels going down in history as a 1984 state champion. And you hear the crowd. We're number one. And this is one time the fans can holler, we're number one and mean it. 51 seconds to blow. And Brett Strickland is out on the field leading the cheers, and he says he's number one. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he's number one as far as tenacity is concerned. Ricky Sprouse will take the snap and fall on the ball and let the clock roll. 46 seconds. 42 seconds. Springwood apparently out of timeouts, unable to stop the clock. And what a sweet victory for the Coosa Valley Academy Rebels. 29 seconds. 28 seconds. They'll have to run one more play, and that will be the ball game. Cross brings it up. 20 seconds. You'll get to hear this crowd count it down. 16 seconds. 12 seconds. Here's the snap. South falls on the football. And Coach Bruce Freeland is getting a ride off the field on the shoulders of a victorious Rebel football team who have claimed the 1984 state championship.